Hello there, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today, we're doing your mid-February reading. We're going to take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, um, and this will be good from now until mid-March, and then we'll go to the Tarot for more details about any obstacles you might have on your path or any advice that Spirit might have for you. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider a like commenting or subscribing okay <laughs> let's get into your reading these cards are wanting to talk there is something here and um they want another shuffle really interesting energy you know i tried to start this <laughs> this reading a couple of times it just kept flubbing up the intro and um i feel like it was uh a nece necessary step to get getting the cards right for you i don't know why okay there we go all right swan spirit time for a deep dive okay cancer i'm not sure did you have this um this last weekend somebody had this i'm thinking it might be you something about a deep dive into your emotions um, I did a special reading for some of the signs, and Cancer, you were one of them, and I'll link that video to the end of this one, um, for February through April. I'll look at what is coming up for you for the next three months, because, you know, yeah, we're finally out of all those retrogrades and eclipses and everything, and we have from now until April 29th, with no retrogrades or any big um, astrological um, things coming in and um, so it's kind of like this opportunity this little portal for us to make progress in an area that we'd like to and I'm pretty sure that that energy came up in that reading for you endless possibilities you know going deep within yourself and I feel like it's in your emotional area um, to see the different possibilities um, and I'm getting a sense of a different possibilities for how to um, look. It's like you need different perspectives about a certain situation or situations in your life. Like I'm getting, I know it's endless possibilities, <laughs> which means, you know, there's a lot of choices for you to make, but I'm really hearing perspectives. Like there's different perspectives, um, perhaps a need to go deep and look at different perspectives, you know, the perspective, your perspective, the perspective of the other people in a certain situation. Yeah, because this is going to help build a more solid foundation for something in your life. Now, this could be a career, this could be a job situation, this could be a romantic connection, a family situation. You've had that family energy a lot in your readings lately, but there's like endless possibilities. It's as if perhaps you've you've only considered your perspective or maybe tried to look at the perspective as somebody else, but recognizing there's just so many different ways to look at this situation. You know, you could be looking at it just from like a mental or logical uh, approach, right? And I'm hearing spiritual, like maybe there's a need to look at this from a spiritual perspective. Um, as part of your soul's journey, you know, whatever this is, it's helping to build a much stronger foundation for yourself and for the other people that are involved in this situation. So let's see what we have for your present energy. Five of Pentacles. Now, Cancer, you know, I'm so, <laughs> I'm, um, so surprised that this energy is coming out um, because your message for 2022, your yearly reading was just incredible. January was incredible. Um, you had the full moon in Cancer. We had the full moon in Cancer in late January. And I'm kind of wondering if that hasn't like triggered you in some way. Um, you know, there's this feeling of sadness, a feeling of needing to make a change in some area of your life. And once uh, we have the King of Cups on the bottom, you know, this is your energy. 
Um, or you could be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But the King of Cups can overcome, can control their emotions so that they're not moving from an emotional point of view, but, you know, can get better in tune with their mental state or their physical state or their spiritual state. So it's, I'm feeling like there is this emotional energy that is, you know, hard, it, that is causing you to feel lack of some sort in your life. You know, like abandonment or rejection. Um, and it's kind of like really playing with your emotions. Because there's this call to go within. To look at this. And perhaps to heal this situation in some way. And it doesn't mean you have to reconcile with this person or reunite or... You know, it's about you going deep within so that you can heal this part of yourself. Um, so that you can better, have a better, stronger foundation for yourself and in the situations coming on your path. So let's see what, yeah, Knight of Swords, this is your obstacle. Not really sure like what direction, you know, the um, Knight of Swords is a little bit <laughs> of an energy of, um, of, you know, taking action quickly and sometimes a little bit irrationally. Um, you know, it's kind of like a determined, I'm going to do this. It doesn't matter who gets in the way. I'm just going to, you know, slash them with my sword and move on. There is um, an energy of having so much determination that you'll win at all costs. So this could be you or this could be, um, you know, the energy of somebody around you. But there's this energy of, you know, the, the Nine of Swords is not having a lot of tact or compassion for other people. You know, just, well, this is what I want. So I'm going to go do this, you know. So we'll take a look at that. Yeah, because look, Five of Cups is on the bottom. This is causing a lot of pain and anguish. You know, a lot of sadness. Somebody has taken action and hasn't um, completely thought about the emotional states of other people. I feel like this is, you know, somebody's taken action um, that has caused you emotional pain. And, you know... They did it because there was, a, I think the, the thing that you, you may need, the perspective that you may need is that they did this because they were determined to move forward in a certain way. And, you know, you may feel emotionally abandoned because they decided to, to take this action, right? But they were taking this action because there was something that was calling them to go in a different direction. Really interesting because I feel as if, you know, Cancer, you are one of the most <laughs> loving signs, right? Um, and especially if this is a family or close friend relationship. Yeah, your, your energy here is to take action yourself. That's your advice. To take action, you know. Go in the direction that you need to go in. It may mean that you do have to um, leave somebody behind, which may be causing you. You may know this, you know, and that's causing you some pain, some agony, some, you know, feelings of sorrow. You may feel um, that you're sorry that has gotten to this point. I'm getting that message, if that resonates with you. You know, you're sorry. I'm not saying this is your fault. I'm just saying that your some of your emotions may be, I'm just so sorry that we couldn't have worked this out. We couldn't have had a conversation. I see that they're going their way. I guess I'll have to go my way. And just feeling as if you... You may have some regrets, anxiety about the fact that this didn't work out in a different way. 
huh let's see what the outcome is nine of cups yeah it's um four of cups is on the bottom i feel like this is how you feel right now with this relationship or situation you know it's stagnant it's not moving forward it's not moving backwards it's just stagnant and it's it's this energy of you know something has to change you know you could be even feeling a little bit like hey i gotta go my own way in, in a sense but this is your area of resistance you can't do it and so your advice is yeah you need to go your own way right you need to do what is good for you that will take you closer to what it is that you're hoping and wishing for yeah empress five of cups on the bottom i feel you know it seems like you've been having this energy a lot um you know the empress can be you know you're you're wanting you may have gone your own way or somebody else you know left and went their own way and you know you were kind of like okay well i'm just going to start my own life you know start a new life for myself whatever that means and your new life is not bringing you the happiness the satisfaction that you thought it would bring you right and it's partly because of this situation this person um i i feel like you're at a distance with this person and your new life just isn't bringing you the joy and happiness that you thought it might. Um, and even if this person left you, you know, it's kind of like, I feel like there is things that have not been said. You know, there's uh, uh, the sense <laughs> that this energy has not closed out. Okay, so let's see what we have here oh my lovely five of cups on the bottom though it doesn't matter i feel as if you may be saying to yourself okay i've moved on i'm building a solid life for myself i'm reinvesting myself in what i think a long-term commitment should be i'm building new relationships or i'm grounding okay relationships or my ideals about what it is that i want but even though that you have been working on this cancer and this is a lovely lovely energy you're still sad you're missing someone or you're missing something you know a situation there is sadness five of pentacles is also about money you may be feeling like you're financially strapped in some way but you're wanting the wheel to turn in your in your favor. You may be trying to turn the wheel and bring something back into balance a little bit. But I feel like you just want the wheel to turn. You want to have satisfaction in your life. And, um, and you don't. And I'm not saying that your life is not good, okay? <laughs> it's just kind of like, you know, that discontented feeling, right? It's kind of like, okay, um, maybe you got a big raise, you know, maybe you bought a bigger house, a new car, whatever it is, you know? And it's kind of like, yeah, no, no, I, I'm good, I'm good. I'm building this really nice life for myself. And yet at the bottom of all of your energy is this sadness, you know? missing missing something you know for some of you it could be missing your purpose you know um it could be missing a reason to get up in the morning you know relationships can do that for us you know it's kind of like if you have someone in your life that you look forward to seeing or spending time with even if it's not on a daily basis it's like just you know, the idea of seeing them can put a little pep into your step. And I feel, yeah, there's sun on the bottom. You know, wanting to feel joy and happiness. And yet you're feeling kind of like ho-hum about everything. So let's see. What is this Knight of Swords? Yeah. Knight of Wands on the bottom. Taking action. There's definitely a call here to take action. However that might mean for you. You, you, I feel like, you know, somebody may have 
um, taken action to move away from you because it was what something that they wanted to go after and it kind of left you feeling a little lost. But I feel like you also want to take action and move in a direction that brings you more happiness and joy, celebration, victory. But you're not maybe sure about how to do that. You know, um, what does that mean? What does that look like for you? You know, asking yourself, okay, if I, if I didn't have any fears, because <laughs> this Knight of Swords is fearlessness. So I'm going to propose if you had no fears, okay? And I'm going to say no fear of rejection. Uh, no fear of abandonment, no fear of ridicule, okay? If you had no fear of that, what action would you take right now in order to be able to feel like you're celebrating a win? And I feel, I'm getting the word win-win, like not just win for you, but win for both of you. Like this energy is one person wanting to win for themselves, right? This energy right here is how can we both win? You know, there's a situation in your life that um, is at odds, is bringing you sadness because it's not a win-win situation. And um, when we take actions that are based just for ourselves, and I'm not saying that sometimes we don't need to take action to put us onto a path that will bring us more happiness and joy. But I feel like somebody in the situation took action, right? To make, um, a, and made a decision to do something that was for the betterment of them and maybe was not a win-win situation, right? They may have won, but you lost, you know, something like that. And it's, it's like you understand maybe now about how maybe a different relationship in the past, like maybe there was a time where you did that. Wow, interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, I'm kind of wondering, has somebody done this to you recently? And now you're starting to reconnect how an action that you took in the past could have made somebody else feel this way. It's almost like karma. You know, I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's really karma, but it's kind of like this energy of understanding. I feel like you're understanding that, you know, win or lose situations really, you know, even if you're the winner in a win lose situation, it doesn't the winning feeling does not last so long when you understand that somebody has to um is losing and feeling that loss, right? It really kind of diminishes your own win. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, this is your obstacle is trying to figure out, hey, how, how can I make this a win-win? What actions? Because look at this, you have the Knight of Wands twice. What action can I take so that I can bring this more into, yeah, manifesting, trying to go in a new direction. And, you know, this new direction could be, it's like a clean slate. That's what, that's okay. That's really um, interesting that they're saying that. Um, yeah, it's kind of like you want a clean slate. You, um, and even if you were kind of like, Okay, I'll say the loser in this situation, right? It's kind of like, okay, how can I clean that slate? How can I take this loss and manifest a win? Manifest a new path for myself, a path, you know? Walk away from this loss. Ah, oh, two cups to something, you know, that is... Um, beautiful and loving and a soul connection. And it could be that you want that with this person, okay? Um, but it's this uh, really interesting, like perspective. You know how they were saying perspective to me when I had this? It's understanding that there's a lot of different possibilities in order to get a win-win perspective of this situation. Oh my goodness. 
Really, <laughs> really nice message. Yeah, because I feel like you're coming into your nine of cups. Like, I feel like you want to heal some situation. And it could, you know, this could be even your neighbor. Okay, it could be uh, some some situation in, in your life where I feel like there was a win-lose situation. Whether you were the winner or the loser, it really does not matter. It's this energy of the universe is trying to teach you um, a lesson about win-win solutions. Because I feel as if once you go through this and you have the win-win mentality, okay, then um, what you're going to be able to do is um, really step into your power. You know, you're going to be able to move forward in such a much stronger basis when we realize that win-win solutions really do help us to build a strong foundation for ourselves, whether that is in business, right, or in personal relationships, or just in our life choices, you know, um, Wow, <laughs> such a, an interesting um, message. Cancer, this is really lovely. Oh, oh my gosh. Nine of Wands. This has been a long journey. You know, for some of you, it may not just be with this one person. You may be taking a, a little bit of a snapshot <laughs> of the past, okay? And noticing that there is some type of a pattern where, you know, you had win-lose situations in your life. However that plays out. And it's kind of like taking a deeper dive. You know, if you were the person that always was trying to win, okay, Cancer? Um, it's about looking at, well, why? Why did I always feel like I had to win, you know? Why did I feel like I had to be triumphant? You know, what kind of power struggle was I trying to overcome? And it could be something from your childhood, okay? Um, so it's not about like, you know, getting, you know, dumping all over cancer. I'm not saying that. It, you're being called to go deep and just try to see, like, even if you... Um, were at times trying to turn it into a win solution for yourself. Like you were, you know, not necessarily looking at the other person's point of view or how they might feel about a situation, you know, looking out more for yourself than other, than other people. And don't get me wrong because you really, you know, you do always have to make sure you're fulfilling yourself first, okay? But not from a selfish viewpoint. So I think it's kind of interesting because I feel like this is a huge, it's kind of like a little bit of a test. It's, it's, this is a big building block to what is coming in the future. It's about just taking a look at your relationships, your, the situations that you're in and asking yourself, you know, um, both of these are a little bit of energies of selfishness. You know, I, I want to get what I want to get. <laughs> and you may be on the backside of one of those situations now and understanding just how difficult this is when you're dealing with somebody that is trying to power over you, is trying to win, okay? And winning for them means that you lose. Instead of trying to find a solution where both people win. Both people walk away from this from the situation feeling like, hey, I'm happy about the way that turned out. And I feel like this could have something to do with, you know, a relationship from the past. Once again, family is in here, childhood. You know, taking a look, uh, uh, is there this energy... And once again, this could be the other person, Cancer. But is there this energy of power? Somebody wanting power, you know, wanting to win. Really interesting. You know, um, the other thing that they're pointing out to me is that, you know, the, the Knight of Wands is on a horse. It's kind of like a horse race. You know, um, 
and, you know, trying to uh, win the race, whatever that may mean. You know, it, there's this competitive vibe that I'm getting here. So it could be even in your work arena, like where you're trying to win, you know, a uh, top salesman or, you know, employee of the month or, or something like that. But you're almost doing it. It can be something like that, you know, where you're kind of like doing it um, almost at all costs to every anybody else that gets in your way, right? So if you're trying to get top sales, you may, you know, m maybe you make promises to clients or customers that you're not really sure you can fulfill. But it's kind of like, well, I want to get top salesmen for this month. So, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, say or do kind of whatever I want. And I'll just cross my fingers behind my back, you know, and then it doesn't count. <laughs> I'm not saying you're outright lying, but it's maybe not completely thinking about the other person while you're taking these actions. Um, yeah, um, I mean, you know, part of us can always feel a bit, a little bit like this, right? Um, and it's only human, Cancer, it's only human. But I feel like they, uh, the universe is really calling to you to take a good look at this so that you can move into an energy of having your wishes granted. This is your wishes will be granted, you know. It's when you are trying to take action that will help everyone in a situation feel a win-win. Because, you know, if other people win, it doesn't mean that you're losing. I feel like this is something that you learned as a child or maybe with society or your group of friends or something. You know, if, you know, I don't win, that means I'm the loser, right? <laughs> there can only be, you know, in every situation, there's a winner and a loser. Well, that's not really true. If you can compromise, if you can be flexible, if you can see somebody else's perspective about something, you know, and come away with a solution where both people feel happy, right? Feel like, okay, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know? Maybe you don't get everything you wanted, but you get nine out of the 10 things that you wanted, the top nine things that you wanted. So then it's a win, right? I think it's just changing your perspective about something. Yeah, this has been a long lesson coming in. Um, and I feel like you're trying to block it. <laughs> and once again, I feel like it's a perspective. It's like a mindset, right? And once again, maybe from childhood, you could have been like a competitive athlete or something, you know, where there's only one winner in a horse race. You know, I'm not sure there's ever a tie. You know, somebody might win by a nose. Um, but it's kind of like, yeah, but there's only one winner. And I feel like that is your mentality. Like, um, you know, there can only be one winner. So, you know, the other person loses by default. But that's not really true. You know, think about the scenario where, you know, perhaps a horse right? That doesn't win the race, but has a hurt leg and finishes the race. They're a winner in their own right, right? And so it's, um, uh, there's different levels of winning, you know, really um, kind of interesting. Okay, this has been a long process, but it's a long process. The Knight of Pentacles is yeah, it's taken a long time, but it's bringing you a lot of grounded energy, built, helping you to build a strong foundation for this nine of cups um, that you have. You know, uh, getting on top of this um, competitive, I feel like there's a lot of competitive nature here. Getting on top of that and understanding that, you know, to, uh, to build a strong foundation maybe financial, but a strong foundation for yourself means that you have to give a little and you have to get a little. And getting on top of any energies where, no, I'm going to hold on to mine and nobody gets any of a mine, you know. And once again, you could be getting this scenario. You could be the one that's, you know, in the lose position, let's say. 
but you're having this situation on your path so that you can better understand the 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 benefits <laughs> of having win-win solutions in your life and and bringing you know um I, you know that's always a, a, a good thing to keep in mind you know sure you want to come out away feeling happy about the situation but you also want the other person to too when i lean toward love i am led you know, I really feel like there's not a lot of love in this, right? There's actually not a lot of love in this. It's a, a love for a self, you know, which is selfish. Um, and not really thinking about anybody else. And I feel like that's what you're being called to take a look at. And once again, it could be because of a situation that is putting you into this energy because somebody is not allowing you a win-win solution. But when you, you know, put a little love into this, right? You add a, a dose of love. We'll put the Ten of Cups here. But when you add a dose of love to this and you kind of try to take a look, um, a deep dive into how this situation makes you feel and how it can make other people feel and see the different perspectives, you'll, un you'll have a better understanding of how to build stronger longer lasting more joyful relationships in the in the future really lovely energy well cancer i'd love to hear in the comments how this might resonate with you um and if it did resonate i'd really appreciate it if you would consider like commenting or subscribing and i do wish you much love and light in this situation all your situations and i hope to see you again really soon bye for now